All right, now, peace and bless everybody. How y'all doing, man? It's Two Miles TV. Back here with another video. <coughs> Excuse me, I'm on the little weather, though. I'm trying to get over this cold. But anyway, um, today I'm going to talk about the situation going down there in um, Del Rio, Texas, when the Haitian immigrants are trapped <laughs> in the cage under the bridge. And, and it, it's just terrible, though, but... Like I said, I'm going to show you a little clip that Senator um, Ted Cruz is going to break it down to see what's going on out there in Del Rio, Texas. So, bear with me for a second. Bear with me for a second. Here it is. Reporting on what's happening down here. So now the FAA is saying, please, no journalists allowed. As you know, they did the same thing in the Donna Tent facility in the Rio Grande Valley where they wouldn't allow Fox News when I brought 19 senators to the Rio Grande Valley. I had to go in with my cell phone and photograph and take videos. I'll tell you, I'm right there. That bridge is behind me. And I just finished going again with my cell phone, taking videos of what's happening there. It is the most horrific thing I've ever seen. There are right Wait. now, as we're speaking... Yeah, go, ahead. go ahead, sir. Right now, as we're speaking, there are 10,500 packed in as a mass of humanity and, and, and it is the, the scope of it until you see it and i'm putting those videos out tonight you'll get a chance to see it they take your breath away because it just goes on and on and on infants little children people uh, pe people struggling enormously and, and and something stunning that i discovered today is i discovered the cause of why this is happening by the way, we're so, Senator, we're showing you the video right now. Yeah. Our team was able to get it over. Oh, good. Thank you for sure. And by the way, we All right. had the video inside of Joe Biden's overcrowded cages. You're right. Our, our cameras were with So, I just showed y'all the little um, the clips of video. You see what I mean down there in, um, in Del Rio, Texas? <laughs> I don't know what's going on with the um, Biden administration, Kamala Harris. I don't know if they not put it, like I said, I don't know if they try, I don't know if they not trying to fix this situation because obviously it's blocked. The center patrol on border just blocked the, the, um, the Haitian immigrants. They trying to go home. They trying to go home to the, you know, to the country. But obviously the Obama, the Obama administration well, not that too, but the FEA blocked it. Um, it's too much going on, man. But I'm going to show you some more clips, man, because I haven't really touched on the story like this, but I did, I did my little re research a little bit. But I'm going to show you a little bit more clips. When you were there, they wouldn't allow me with the vaccine mandates that Joe Biden is placing on the American people. How is it?
on September 8th. Today it's September 16th, eight days later, and 700 people has grown to 10,500. That was several days ago. The word has gone out. If you're from Haiti, Joe Biden and Kamala Harris have said, we have open borders, come to Del Rio, and they will let you in. Everyone under that bridge is turning themselves in, and it's a political decision that Joe Biden put in tonight by simply following the law and saying we are going to send people back to Haiti what federal immigration law requires until Biden and Harris got in office. I, I, why do I feel if I just pick and choose the laws that I like to uh, abide by uh, and the ones that ignore the well, anyways. <coughs> See the people down in in Del Rio, um, Texas. The Haitians, like, I understand that they ain't trying to go back because they just had that that big ass that big ass storm out there. What was what, what like a month ago, something like that? A month ago, they had a storm. It's a mess over there in Haiti, man. It's it's like <clears throat> it's sad that the Haitian people, the stuff they got go through, man, in in these past maybe month or two, first the storm. And now, like I said, now they trapped in the um in the cages under the bridge down there on um, Del Rio, Texas. And it's sickening. Like I said, we know like we got the pandemic going on. It's crowd of people around um around the cages under the bridge. They trying to get contacts with friends and family, email, all that good stuff, man. They just want to go home. But you have the border, you like so you have the Haitian immigrants people. It's cross. It's it's crossing. It's it's crossing the water of the between United States and Mexico. You have the border. Like I said, you have the border patrol on horses. It's chasing the Haitians. Hit, you know what I'm saying like hit, hitting the Haitians with the whips. The whips. Don't you know what the whips they used back in the day for the um, for the slavery? You know what I'm saying? They like I said, they treating them. They they are treating the Haitians like slavery, bro. They are, though, man. Come on, Alex. This is, like I said, I really had to touch on this topic though because there's no way that I was not gonna miss this. There's no way I was not gonna be blindsided with this, with this whole madness going on. It's chaotic right now down there in Texas, man. So, like I said, my prayers go out to everybody down there. Please, please, whoever is in, you know, like the United States people, especially who down here in Charlotte, North Carolina, <laughs> donate, donate to the Haitian people down there in Del Rio, in Del Rio Texas, because. They really need help right now, man. They really do, man. Like I said, your president and your vice president. They say it's going, like I said, like Senator Ted Cruz said, they say it's going to go down there to open up, you know, the border, like open up the border, the, open up the borderline between the United States and Mexico. Obviously, the Haitians, they still trapped down there. And cages like dogs, man, under the bridge. <sighs> it is what it is, man. T Brown TV. Make sure y'all hit like, subscribe, hit that bell for notification. Y'all can add me on Mr. Underscore Handsome Underscore Seven Zero Four. Y'all can subscribe to my channel, T Brown TV. Like I said, it is what it is. So you know, I had to come in just touch on the topic real quick, though. So I'm out. Yeah.